Hi, welcome back to Natural Selection, where we're looking at how populations change over time. I'm Miss Alaski, a teacher in Seattle, Washington, and I'll be your host today for Natural Selection Part 2, where we'll look at Lessons 1.4 and 1.5. Let's start with Lesson 1.4, Investigating Changes in Trait Distribution. The materials that you'll need for today, something to write on and something to write with. If you have someone to share with, maybe it's a family member that's home with you, or a friend or a relative that you can text or Snapchat, that's great. If you have a copy of the Wildlife in the Woods article and or a computer logged in to Amplify. Our warm up to get you started today is what do you notice about the variation and distribution of these two populations? Before we get started, I want to remind you of the three important vocabulary words from the last time. The first important word to review is population. A population is a group of the same type of organism living in the same area. Our focus population for this unit are the rough skin newts, and the populations we'll be looking at in the sim again are the australopes, the thorn palms, and the carnivon. The second important word to review is variation. So variation is any difference in traits between individual organisms. We looked at australopes and we found that they have variation in things like their neck length, their color and their amount of fur. Rough skin newts, there's variation in their size and the amount of poison that they have. The third word we're going to review is distribution. Distribution is the number of individuals with each trait in a population. So looking at our australopes, the distribution shows that most of the australopes are blue, some of them are yellow, and very few of them are green. So we'll look at a variety of distributions in our organisms. Now that we've reviewed our three important words, what do you notice about the variation and distribution of these two populations? Take a moment and write it down or check in with whoever you are talking with. What do you notice? So one of the things that I notice, we've got population A at generation one and population A at generation 50. This tells me that time has gone by. Then I look at the trait that we're focusing on, and the trait is the amount of fur of the australopes. So I can see in population A at generation 1 that the distribution shows that most of the australopes have low amounts of fur. The distribution at generation 50, I can see that most of the australopes have medium to high amounts of fur, with 7 being the most common trait. I noticed that there was more variation in population A at generation 1. It went from fur level 1 all the way to 7, where there is less variation at generation 50 because there's only 4, 5, 6, and 7. What else did you notice? The next word to add to our growing list of vocabulary for natural selection is generation. Generation is a group of individuals born and living at about the same time. So you can think of you, and if you have any brothers or sisters, your generation, your parents are another generation, your grandparents another generation, your great-great-grandparents another generation, right? And so those groups living at about the same time is a generation. 